here. This gonna be a really disrespectful video. This dumb ass motherfucking kid's father, man. And I'm not talking about kid father number one. And I'm not talking about kid father number two. I'm talking about kid father number three. I don't care what nigga you get. He always gonna have some type of stupid ism in him. Now, I know y'all remember I made a video like a couple of months ago about him dealing with his baby mama. Okay, ever since that video, and I don't know when that video was made, but y'all know when it was made because it's on my shit. Ever since the video was made, I told him, look, you dealing with a bitter ass baby mama. You need to just leave her alone and let her be until she ready to act right. So the bitch hit him up yesterday talking about I want to ask you something. And of course, y'all know what bitter bitches do. Y'all know how they get back in. They use the kids. This dummy ain't smart enough to know that. Maybe because he ain't been through this before. But, nigga, I've been a bitter baby mama, so I'm telling you how it go. You know what I'm saying? So, I tell the nigga, yeah, I'm like, you about to go through some bullshit. You about to go through some fucking bullshit. I already know. I was like, I hope she don't motherfucking. I told him this yesterday, y'all. I said, I hope she don't just try to use the kids, wheel your ass in, and then when you get in good, then she motherfucking back on that bullshit. You don't do this. You don't do that, 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 and get you all stressed up, and then you stress me the fuck out. Because that's what was happening. She was stressing him out so bad, and it was rubbing off on me, and it was stressing me out. You know what I'm saying? So, he like, well, she say my daughter want to talk to me. Should I give her the number? I don't like interfering with baby mama, baby daddy issues because I got my own with my other two kids, father with one. So I really don't like to get caught up in the bullshit. So I was like, well, if you want to talk to your daughter, go ahead. I'm not going to say nothing bad about the kids. You know what I'm saying? The kids are just caught in the middle of the bullshit, but she's the one that's constructing it and, you know, carrying the bullshit out. So... She she gave he gave her the number. As soon as he gave her the number, his daughter called and he talked to his daughter, you know what I'm saying? But it sounded like a constructed conversation. The conversation didn't sound like it was his 10-year-old daughter just talking at her free will. It sounded like she was being instructed by somebody, you know what I'm saying, where you can't say this and you can't say that. Like it sounded like somebody was sitting right in front of her telling her what the fuck to say. So it went all good that night, right, y'all? So then today, like, okay, I got to go to the city. Whenever he got to go to the city, it's like a hit and miss. It's like a gamble situation. Sometimes he go to the city, do what the fuck he's supposed to do. Sometimes he go to the city and get all thrown the fuck off because y'all know in the city it's bad energy, it's bad spirits. And it's easy for them fucking bad spirits to attach on you and make you lose focus of what the fuck you really trying to do, especially if you a weak person. So... He go to the city. He go to the city, y'all. I don't bother him. You know what I'm saying? I don't bug him. When you come here, I don't do none of that. So he pulls up and my my six-year-old seeing my six-year-old like, yeah, Madeville here. You know what I'm saying? So he run to the door. He excited to see him. You know what I'm saying? This nigga on the phone yelling, come through the door. Now, remind y'all, I just put my porch together. So I'm sitting there just rocking, watching the sunset. So peaceful, so peaceful, so quiet, because y'all know I live in the suburbs. Sitting there, then I just got up for some reason, because I was like, let me just go to the front. As soon as I get to the front, he let my dog out, Micah come running out, he yelling, ah, oh, your sister don't like me, I don't like your sister, I don't like your mama, the fuck you talking about, and, I, and just being real loud and fucking ghetto, and it's like, I don't think he ever go understand about peacefulness in a household because maybe that's something he never had. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was always chaos in his house or chaos around him. So he don't understand that I like to have a level of peacefulness in this house. Anything that's not peaceful in this house, I attack it on spot. I get defensive, I attack it, I'm not, and then I shut down and I don't want to deal with it. So when he came through the door, I said, dude, 
why the fuck is you yelling and cussing like that and you so fucking loud and you just walking through the door? You bring that energy here and I already knew when he was arguing who the fuck it was with because the nigga have not argued in months. He haven't dealt with her in months, so he haven't argued with her in months. He haven't did nothing. Now, you know what I'm saying? I just, I should have just let him be when he wanted to be. I should have just let him be when he wanted to be because now I got to deal with I don't even have to deal with it, really. He told me all he wanted was his clothes. I'm just going to give him all his clothes. I don't really want to deal with him. I don't. I don't, for real. Because I'm about to give birth, and I don't feel like being stressed out by him, his kid's mother. She's manipulative. Because he said he called his daughter. He was on the phone with his daughter, and then all of a sudden, she got on the phone. Like, why you don't be bothered with your son? And to me, even if it's not her, y'all, I believe in spirits. I believe in spirits. Because you went, she went all this time, y'all, with no contact. She unblocked them on Facebook. It's mighty funny that she know that I'm about to have a baby. So, if she don't know, spirits know. And spirits know weak parts about people so spirits know his weak spot the weak spot is them kids so if a spirit like okay you know what he got everything going for him right now time to stir up some trouble and a weak spot spirits won't touch that weak spot they touch it right when they need to touch it you ever notice somebody be doing good and then all of a sudden they fall off he like you was doing so good because the spirit knew when the attack you know what i'm saying so he was doing so good and and i feel like some type of entity don't want him to do good because every time he do good he end up relapsing and he can't even see it i see it because i'm just normal all the time you know what i'm saying i don't drink i don't smoke i'm normal so i see things a little clearer than most people because my spirit is not tainted or toxic or none of that. People might not think so because of my attitude. But I'm a mother. I'm a person. I've had experience. So therefore, I'm not a doormat. I can't allow someone to invade my space with their negative energy. I can't. I can't accept a lot of things. So therefore, people might view me as mean or... They might view me as a lot of things, but one thing, I got a clear mind and a clear vision. So it's funny that at this particular time, she come at him and want him to have this relationship with his kids. When just a few months ago, you told him he was a deadbeat and he couldn't see his kids. Now you're calling saying you don't have a relationship with your son. He's three years old. You don't have a relationship with your son and... He's a deadbeat. So when he was calling to ask to see the kids, you wouldn't let him. So guess what? Now that he has opened up that door, because when he with me, it's no drinking. I can't tolerate the drinking. So when he don't drink, he don't want to deal with her. So now that he's drinking, he can tolerate her. You know what I'm saying? It takes him to drink to open the door to tolerate her. So the devil works calculated. He's very smart. He's very smart. In order to deal with her, he has to drink. Today, he tried to play me like he wasn't drinking. We don't argue until you drink. You're not disrespectful until you drink. So don't sit up here and tell me you haven't had a drink. Because if he was not drinking, he wouldn't even been arguing. He wouldn't even been on the phone arguing. He would have hung up. But for you to sit on the phone and argue with her is a telltale sign that you've been drinking. And this is what y'all do. You drink and then you deal with her. And when you drink, you got to drink to deal with her. You know what I'm saying? Because of her personality and whatever, whatever, whatever. So I told him, I said, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck your baby mama. I'm not dealing with that shit. I got enough on my plate right now. I got enough. 
to deal with right now. So I'm not dealing with you, you or her and y'all issues and you're drinking on top of it. That's very selfish because he knows I'm like seven weeks from giving birth. And I just, I just can't deal with it, y'all. So I was like, um, um, you can, you can go. If he want his clothes, I'll pack his shit up and he can go. He can keep drinking so that he can tolerate her. But it's so fucked up because men will stick with a woman that help, that will hold them down. And then they'll fall off and go back to the bitch that had you out here bold as hell. Like, we talked so many times about how he got his shit together, and then he went back to her, and she fucked him up. And this is, like, what they do. She wait till he get his shit together. She come in. She fuck him up. He allow it, though. She fuck him up. And then when she fuck him up, she leave him alone. <laughs> and then he out there just solo dolo by himself because she, that's what she do. It's like she's a bad spirit. You know, like all the stories that he told me. And I'm thinking to myself, you never paid attention that this girl, she she, wait, she waits for your downfalls. She waits for your downfalls. You know, and I'll bet you anything in the world, he go out there because today was a nice day. And you know, when it's a nice day, people act stupid like how him and her are doing today. So it's a nice day. He go out. He drinking and driving. Probably go get in trouble. Maybe not. Maybe might get a pass. But since the devil go. Since the devil is on his head, I wouldn't be surprised if it would be the right time for him to go get in trouble. You get in trouble. Your truck get impounded because you're drinking and driving. You was probably on your way to go over there with her to argue because now she gave him her new address. That's real, that's real suspicious. Like, you know, I would look at that as being suspicious, but he would look at it as, oh, I get to see my kids. You know what I'm saying? But I don't look at things normally. I look at things in a spiritual form and not in a worldly form. So all of it is so calculated and it's so put together. So she gave you her address. So now you can go over there and see your kids. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not getting along with me. And I told you, you could go, nigga. So why not go over there and be with your kids? You know, fuck her. She won't let me back in the house. I'm going to go see my motherfucking kids. Go ahead, dummy. Go ahead. And let me know how that work out for you in a few months. Because I guarantee you, she might be nice for two or three months. But as soon as you get your shit together... <sighs> I just, and I told him a long time ago, I said, you know, you should just go be with your baby mama because I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with nobody in a baby mama issues. I don't deal with my, I just cut my kid's father off for some shit that I just found so inappropriate. I just cut him the fuck off and I don't want to deal with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So. I just wish he'd just go do what the fuck he go do because I just really just want to be by myself. I can't keep letting myself be stressed out. I'm about to fucking give birth. I hate kids' fathers and their kids' mothers. <sighs>